In this video, we're going to describe how to find what you need in our course and what you'll be expected to do over the next nine weeks. When you log into Blackboard, you'll first see the announcements page. This is the home page for the course site, and this is where you'll see the most recent information about our course. You should check the announcements at least three times a week to be sure you aren't missing anything. You'll navigate through our course with the menu on the left hand side. For the first week of the course, you're going to click on Start Here. In the Start Here area, you'll have all the information you need to get off to a successful start in our course. This first week, you should scroll down and complete all the activities on this page. After the first week, you'll access the course content by clicking on the Learning Modules. Next, you'll see the modules for each week with the dates listed under the module name. When you first get into the course, you won't have access to all of these modules. We'll be releasing a new module each week. Each of these modules is a folder with more information that you can access by clicking on it. The first thing you'll see in each module is an overview of what we'll be doing that week. Next is a to-do list that's a checklist of everything that needs to be done that week. After that will be the Quality Matters standards that we'll address in the week. Another item you'll see each week is a lesson. For the shorter lessons, this may just be text typed directly in Blackboard. For the more involved lessons, there'll be narrated presentations, just like the one you're watching now. Each presentation is no more than 10 minutes long. Video lessons are closed captioned. To access the closed captioning, click on the small CC at the bottom, and you can choose on or off. Sometimes it'll be helpful to see a bigger version of the video. To see that, click on YouTube at the very top to watch in YouTube. Then click on the full screen icon in the lower right hand corner. For each of you, we've created something called a development shell for you to build your course during this DQOC program. This course shell is your practice area or your sandbox for designing your course. There are no students enrolled in your shell. When your course design is done, we'll copy your development shell to your real course so students can access it. Each week you'll have an assignment that requires you to add content to your development shell. Assignments are due by 8 a.m. each Monday morning. One type of assignment is labeled as in your course. There'll be instructions for completing the assignment and a grading rubric. Once you've completed the assignment, click on the name of the assignment. Then the assignment manager will appear. You should type a quick sentence letting us know that you did complete your assignment. Feel free to include any comments or questions that you may have. When you're done, click Submit. After that, one of the instructors will go into your course to review what you've done and grade the assignment. If you're not sure how to use a feature of Blackboard, we've included short instructional videos. These videos are called how-to videos if you already know how to use that Blackboard feature, you can skip the video. Another activity we'll have almost every week is a discussion board. This is your opportunity to share your ideas and get feedback from others in class. The discussion board questions are related to the week's assignments. First, you'll need to respond to each discussion board question by Thursday night. After Thursday, you should check back and read the posts of your colleagues and respond to at least two of your co-learners. There's a more detailed video that describes how to use Blackboard's discussion board feature. Next, let's look at how you can check your progress in the course. The way you do that is to click on My Grades on the left hand side. All the assignments will be listed along with your grades and any comments the instructors have provided. For you to successfully complete this course, you'll need to meet expectations for all assignments. We'll note if your assignment meets expectations or needs improvement. You can view how your assignment was graded by clicking on View Rubric. You can resubmit any assignments that need improvement. To help you keep track of the assignments, there's a detailed course schedule. You can access it by going to Syllabus and Schedule, and then click on Schedule. We recommend that you print this schedule and check it frequently. As we progress through the course, there might be times when we need to adjust the schedule. 
If we revise the schedule, we'll make an announcement and send an email so you know to download the latest version. We'll hold a Collaborate session during Module 3. This is when we'll have a class together online, and it's called a Synchronous Class Session. You can participate in the session from any computer that has an internet connection with headsets or speakers. If you'd like to talk during the session, you'll also need a microphone. There's more information about Collaborate in the Start Here section. You should watch the video and follow the steps to see if you have all the software you need to participate. Don't worry if you can't attend the session, then you'll just watch the recording of the Collaborate session. Finally, at the end of each module is a Digging Deeper section. Here you'll find the list of resources if you'd like to learn more about the topics discussed each week. This is a list we'd like to continue to build and welcome any of your suggestions for additions. So you should now have a general idea about how to navigate through our course and the expectations for your participation in the DQOC program.